All right, so we've all been sick at one point or another. Um, some of us more often than others because of allergies, environment, our bodies, we're built different. In the past, I used to get sick. For sure, I'd get like flu-like sick once to twice a year. Then I cleaned up my act as an adult adult. I started eating better, exercising more. I started getting sick less and less. I went through like, a, I think a, my biggest run was like six or seven years without getting sick. It was great. I figured out that a healthy lifestyle means less being sick. Loved it. I just got, the reason why everything's kind of thrown off, you know, I just kind of put my phone up right here and made it happen. Said, you know what, I've been, I was on and off about making today's video, but I was like, you know what, it's perfect. Because I'm on and off, because I'm questioning it, it gives me more of a, hell yeah, let's go do it. Um, I'm still liking my sweats. I think I wore this yesterday. I've been sick. I got sick two, three days ago. It was not the worst, but it was pretty up there as far as like, oh, not feeling well, not being able to function. I don't like being around people when I'm sick, just to be courteous to them. If I don't have to be out, I won't be out. There's other stuff I could do in a capsule here without having to expose anybody else to my sickness. So I'll chill, rest, exercise, if, you know, and that's one thing too, that's another thing I can talk about later on is I still exercised even though I was sick. Maybe not as intense because I just couldn't, I'd fold, but I still got reps in. We can't be the victim when we get sick. Don't be the victim when we get sick. I'm gonna talk to the old me because the old me used to just whine and complain and woe is me and do everything for me and bring me this and bring me that. And I would just stretch it. I would milk it as much as I could for whatever reason. I'm just trying to kind of give the heads up to anybody who still does that. Don't do it. It's not in your benefit. You don't, you be, people feel sorry for you. Become a, you're in a low vibration when you're acting like that. Don't act like that. Get yourself right. Get a new mindset. Remember, we're working on that beast mindset. Every situation needs to be seen with a different perspective. Now, I understand there's different levels of sickness. I'm talking that just calling to work sick vibes, flu, just, you know, headache, stomach ache, stuff that just kind of it goes up, it goes down. It's it's maybe over the counter. Maybe you need to go do a, a video call with your with your doctor. Nothing severe, severe. I understand that there's levels. I'm talking about the common sickness. I can't go to work for a couple of days. I can't do what I normally do for a couple of days just because I'm messed up. I'm also not talking lightweight, like you got a little bit of allergies. I'm also through those. And everybody has their tolerance. Don't talk smack to the person that can still do a full day with like a, a, a pretty intense flu and he's out there still carrying himself you know hats off to him i hope he's keeping everybody around him safe from you know spreading his sickness but he ain't better than the person who says man i'm just gonna take a day off because i don't want this to get worse neither one is better neither one is worse you know whatever to each his own i'm talking to my guy i'm talking to the person that's like me that when you get sick you get moody you get cranky you get whiny you get complaining you start lecturing, you start talking about all the things you don't like, you start talking about all the things that people ain't doing, uh, what they should have done, uh, the mess that's around. You're walking up and down the house, coughing up a storm, and you're just nagging and coughing at the same time. Just because you're sick, don't make yourself the victim. Also, too, don't, don't say, oh, this is horrible. Oh, this feels like this. Oh, this feels we get it. You're sick. You don't feel good. First of all, try to keep to yourself so you don't get the rest of the dugout sick. Second, we already understand. Let us know what level you're at. Be honest. Don't don't try to be don't try to be you know ah oh, nothing hurts nothing no. Be honest. This hurts. I feel like this. So your loved ones around you can help you. Great, we got that established. We know where you're at. On a, on, 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 on a zero to ten, where you're at. Okay, cool. Then after that, don't keep on reminding people how bad it is. If they ask or check in once a day or check in maybe three times a day, morning, noon, and night, I'm feeling better, I'm feeling the same, I'm feeling worse. 
But now throughout the day, just keep on nagging and whining, and complaining on how horrible it is and how this and this. That was me. You don't get nothing out of being at a low vibe. That's victim mindset. Victim mindset is of a low is at a, a low mindset. What you gotta do is turn it around and say, okay, this is what this is an opportunity. I'm sick. I feel like dirt. What what kind of what kind of opportunity is that? It's an opportunity to be by yourself and be grateful and thankful. For what? I'm sick. For be grateful and thankful that last week or ten days ago you weren't sick. Be grateful and thankful that you got somewhere to rest and lay down to go through this challenge. Remember, life happens for you, not to you. There's something to learn here. Appreciation that you have a quiet space, that you have a dark space, that you have a sheet to put over you to kind of keep warm or a blanket maybe. Maybe you're lucky enough to have a pillow. Whoa, a bed maybe. A good time to pray. To pray for the folk who don't have none of that. To pray to the folk that feel as bad as you do at that moment and are a, on a sidewalk somewhere, on a freeway entrance somewhere, going through the same discomfort that you are. Pray for them. Send them good energy. Good opportunity to do that, too. An opportunity to be thankful for all the things that you've had before that sickness, before that that couple of days off, that under the weather that got you in bed where you decided to say, I'm just going to chill for a couple of days here, or a day or half a day, whatever. During that time, man, I'm glad that, that that I got to talk to this person. I'm glad that things are got. I got to fix my my ride. I'm glad, I'm glad that I got that idea going. Oh shoot! Since I'm here, maybe I should research that idea a little bit more. Uh, I'm so grateful that I got clean, you know, food to eat while I'm here. Uh, and stay disciplined. Just because I'm sick doesn't mean I'm gonna eat poorly. As a matter of fact, I'm, I'm so grateful that I've been eating well for a while now. One week, one month, one year, whatever. I'm going to keep it up and stay in my macros. I'm going to watch what I'm eating. I'm protein, fats, and carbs. I'm so grateful that I have access to that food because there are people out there that you should pray for during that time as well. Wish them well. Send them good energy. But they barely have anything to eat. Yet you're able to choose to watch your diet, to stick to your diet. During this challenging time. Some folks have to go through that challenging time that you're going through right now and also don't have where, anywhere to lay down and also don't have nothing to eat, let alone watching what their diet is. They have nothing, maybe not even clean water in some circumstances, some areas. So a great time to be grateful, to appreciate what you have, to send good energy, prayers, love for those that don't. Don't be a whiner. Don't be a complainer. You're going to get through this, especially if it's just one of those, like I said, common illnesses that come and go, seasonal things that come and go. A little, little, little bump in the road that you got to get through, a little snag, whatever. And you're out for a day or two, four or five days maybe, if it's just something that you know is going to hang around for a little longer. That just means it's more time for you to reflect, to be thankful. To pray for those that are having it a little bit or a lot more tough, tougher than you have it. Thankful for the things that you've accomplished up to that point. And a good time to also, it's quiet. You're sitting in your room. You're probably not taking any phone calls. Probably not checking any emails. You, maybe you're not in the right mind. You're a cloudy medicine head, whatever. Maybe you are. Maybe one of those folks that, you know, I'm still going to work through my thing instead of just completely taking advantage and saying, okay, the next day, the next two days, I'm just going to take it off. And go look through that one video that you, that you started watching that one time or that you saved because you liked it and watch it the whole way through. Gain something. Maybe unfollow a few channels that you, that you know are not good for you. They're just time suckers. They're, they're distractions. They're not gaining any wisdom out of these channels. Get out of those. Maybe pick up a channel or two that's suggested from um, the algorithm that maybe says, hey, okay, this, this person has a good message and inspires you. But even just chilling out in quiet, in silence, being thankful, not doing anything else but that, Sending good energy to the less fortunate. 
And more than anything, don't be a victim. We already know that you're sick. We already know that you're not doing too good for the next few days. Don't keep on announcing it. Don't be a whiner. Don't be a complainer. Turn it around. Change it. Get that beast mindset. Be grateful and thankful for the things that you do have.